Hi and welcome. My name is Vilna Fursenberg and I am putting up a brand new art journaling video today. So I know I'm back probably a little quicker than even I anticipated. <laughs> but um, I'm waiting for some contracts to come through. So and I had time on my hands. So I'm and I was just so inspired to, to do an art journal page. So I'm going to uh, walk you through this and talk to you a little bit about uh, this process. So I'm starting off with gold paint. And uh, this is the third one I made for. Uh, but this is the only one that I finished. So I will post the other ones as I get time to finish them up. Um, but... The theme with this one, the starting points, are gold paint and stencils. So I'm just going to drip a little bit of gold paint. You can see the drippings there. And then I'm using a craft knife or a um, palette knife, actually, not a craft knife. And a mold, light molding paste. And I'm just spreading it through the stencil like bread and butter almost. So it's a very, very easy process. It works like a charm. And um, the molding paste dries quite, quite quickly. So you can see I used the, um, the, the stencil, I just moved it. Um, and, and I'm just working on the top of the page. And now I'm going to be spraying with the spray, spray ink. And what I found out later, and water. So I'm just going to spray with water and I'm going to make it drip. So what I found out later was that this ink is actually not water um, resistant. So, and I found it out there when I was adding my Mod Podge to my image. Um, you can see how the ink comes off the page. So that's a little bit annoying. So you will see from now on I work actually quite carefully not to get too much of that purple everywhere you know but anyway so that's just a little note of caution for you when you when you work with spray inks maybe taste them and see how water resistant they are because it's super annoying if you have a color and you don't want it to go further than it should and then it just blends into everything okay so let me talk to you a little bit about um what inspired this Original page video today. Uh, last night I actually taught an uh, art journaling class in person. It was the very first one I've ever done, and I absolutely loved it. A couple of girls uh, locally asked me if I want to do this, and uh, none of them have, except for one, Colleen. Hi, Colleen, if you're listening, hi, thank you for hosting. Uh, last night, so Colleen has done art journaling. Uh, Colleen was actually. Uh, enrolled in my art to heart workshop and she loved it she loved the prompts of it even though she didn't do the scrapbooking pages but she translated it into journals she makes the most amazing journals really so meaningful so beautiful the women were ooing and aahing over her journals even though it's not necessarily strictly art journals um, it focused more on the journaling than the art but still like holy wow it was amazing. Anyway, so she asked me if I want to come and teach um, art journaling. And there were six girls last night and we had a ball. And I was just so inspired. Again, just reminded why I freaking love this so much. So, okay, you see I showed you the varnish day on the video. So what I'm thinking of... Oh, I'm talking to Siri on my phone, so by the way. <laughs> no, no. Um, I was thinking maybe if I spray it with a varnish, it will pro prohibit the um, ink. Or it's obviously water-based, right? Um, to to sp you know when I mix it with any kind of wet media, I don't want it to be flowing into it. Um, but and I'm just drying it. But you know what? It didn't really help. So I decided from this point on, I'm just going to be painting with acrylic paints. And uh, because acrylic paint will um, will stop that running of the watercolors. Anyway, so last night we did a wonderful art class in person. And I'm hosting again one in two weeks. 
very excited about this but when I came home today and I had a couple of hours and I thought to myself you know what I'm going to make a, vi a YouTube video and I want to finish um, one of the four art journals. So I'm painting, can you see there how lightly I'm holding my brush because I know, I know that this blue paint, purple paint is going to flow into the Liquitex acrylic inks that I'm the light the lime green I'm having there so I was kind of okay with it you know and then I decided well okay let, let's go black so I I'm painting with a little bit of black uh, watercolors just at the top of the page I absolutely love the way um, some of the inks resist the the gold paint the gold acrylic paint and I love the the texture that's happening at the top of this page also very much just doing a couple of splatters there and then I'm going to um, let, just let it dry the the illustrations I'm using is from my mini class one uh, I think it's soul food is the name of it and the other one the other little one is also from a previous collection um, that I um, a summer or spring collection from last year so you can go to iartstudio.ca and just have a look I also have a coupon for you at the very end of this um, video where you can buy my art journaling workshop at a little bit of a discount so I'm mixing up my favorite green there it's almost like a teal color blue greens yellows and white and I'm low on white acrylic paint and I put it on my list to go and buy. But um, in the end, I just added some gesso for white, which is actually not ideal. You know, I just realized that gesso is not quite acrylic paint. I know, I know it's not, but you only really know it once you um, want white acrylic paint and you don't have it. Okay, so now because I'm impatient, okay, you know that by now. I'm painting with my um, drawing tool and that's mostly because I want the paint to dry as quickly as possible painting over this um, watercolor paint splatters that's going to just soak into everything you know so um, I wasn't happy with the exact color there so I decided just to add a little bit more white paint to it and a little bit of yellow I'm just going to um, change the color a little bit it's just too dark for me I want a little bit more of a contrast a little whiter more yellow fresher color because the page is already a little um, dirty if you know what I mean like I I'm a very big fan of keeping colors fresh so even in on a page like this where everything looks like it's just a total disaster um, I like to keep my colors fresh and also it's a weird combination of colors in the end when I looked at it I'm like wow it's almost like what but I felt that the purples and the yellows are um, complementary colors so they go to together well and then the green is just a touch of I don't know a touch of green so I'm drying my watercolors and the acrylic inks that was still on the page and then I'm painting with acrylic paint as well. So I'm doing like, and acrylic paint dries fairly quickly. So when you put, um, I'm just zooming in there it's just to give you a better look on, of a better look at exactly what I'm doing. So I'm painting, um, it's almost like the paint splatters, the runs, directs my paint brush. You know so I don't want to be painting over it I just want to paint around it I want to keep it and then um, once the acrylic paint is dry I'm going to go over it again so it's it's like this layering of paint and uh, I love working with this hot embossing tool while I'm painting you can also see that I don't want to uh, just adding a tiny bit of yellow I don't want to um, cover 
all the markings. I want the markings to show through. I want a few of the gold drippings to show through. Um, I'm careful if you understand what I mean. But this is my effort in bringing this whole page together because it feels... It, there was a point where it felt like a total disaster. And then, you know what, once you keep, just keep on working and you're patient and um, and then it comes together. And that's one thing that I told the girls last night while we were all painting on our art journals. He said, remember that art journaling is a process. Just like journaling and working through emotions is a process. Just so is art journaling an absolute process. And so it's it's like a going on a journey. You don't know where you're going to end up. And what you do along the journey dictates your next step. So you know what? Um, if I were to make this page an hour later today, it would have looked totally different. You know? So, but you can see how it's coming together. How... The flowers are sort of the dividing line of the page. The the top part is very textured and um, and uh, you know in, intricate with the molding paste, and then the bottom part is more uh, with you know the paint drippings and the and the paint strokes shining through, almost like um, washes. And now I'm just painting again with uh, gesso here because I don't have white acrylic paint. Um, and you can see how touchy that purple paint is. It just it, When you paint over it, it just comes off, which is super annoying. So what I'm painting here with the white is I'm making space for my journaling. And I decided to write on the side of the page, you know, so... And uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm using a clean brush often because the blue or the purple spray paint is getting onto the brush and I don't want to like make everything. I want that white to be white as well. But you can see it's not quite possible, but I'm trying. At least I'm trying. So, and now once, so now I'm happy with my page, right? And what I'm thinking now is that I just want to, uh, start embroidering and this is the fun part of an art journaling page as you probably know if you've watched some of my other videos that I absolutely love the embroidering part like putting in the detail doing the writing you know finishing it up so once I'm done painting I'm going to start embroidering like I just said haha <laughs> And uh, I am going to um, be using white Liquitex acrylic ink. And this is really one of the best things you can use if you want to do those detailed work. And I'm also going to use a very fine brush, a number one or a number two watercolor brush. So it's a very um, thin brush, but it gives you a lot of detail um, that you can draw into it's a very fine little brush so the white acrylic paints um just don't uh shake the bottle without the lid on and don't ask me how i know this um i have proof on my carpet in my scrap room everything is freaking white like white paint splatters but anyway it only took like three baby wipes to get uh it cleaned up but I, I did wreck a jean and a new shirt and I also have paint splatters on my ma mat as well. So <laughs> just be careful people, just a public service announcement here. So now I'm just doing my usual um, little markings and I'm going to uh, do some doodles. And um, this ink is really weird. You know, the brand that I use, uh, I don't even think I want to recommend it to anyone. Because you can even see when I paint with white acrylic paint on it, it takes the ink blends into it or the water, the water soluble, um, whatever th that is, let's call it spray ink. It blends into the white acrylic paint as well. So I'm like, what? No, no, it's just not right. So I had a little bit of trouble to keep my... Um, ink 
right there. So I had to go over it a couple of times. So it's just super annoying. And I'm just going to write. Um, I was listening to a, a sermon while I'm doing this. And, uh, and this was one of the songs they were singing. I will sing of your love forever. Which is beautiful, beautiful song. Anyway, so, um, you know, I, I'm just reminded again that uh, art journaling is really therapy. And I've said it so many times. But it's different when you teach a class. And, and by the way, it was my very first art journaling class that I ever taught in real life. Like I've taught numerous scrapbooking ones, but never an art journaling one. And I'm telling you, I'm... I can see myself doing this for a long time, even if it's just for uh, my friends here and in, in, in the little town that I live in. And you know what else? I also met, <laughs> I met one of my neighbors in my in my street. We both lived here for the last six years, and we've never ever ever met each other. She's a couple of houses down, but I live in a cul-de-sac. So you know, I was looking at her, and I'm like. Why do you look so familiar? And she's like, um, we've been neighbors, like in the same street for the last six years. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so that was fun meeting uh, my neighbor, Lana. So hi, Lana. If you're looking, if you're watching this video, then I can see your house from where I'm sitting and narrating it. But um, a wonderful experience and. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to tell you what I told them. That um, if you really want to learn the process of art journaling, you have to just start, right? And also, the best way to learn something new, especially with art, is to copy. So it, feel free to follow along with this video and do exactly what I did. Because in the end, um, this is the best way to learn. It's just to copy, you know, um, that's how I learned and that's where we all started with art. Hey, so um, I'm done with this page. I'm just going to show you a little clip of the finished um, page with with the art journaling. And I used a vellum, uh, Zig, Zig vellum writer to do my journaling. Here you can see. And I uh, had so much fun doing this page. So thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, just at the end of this image, there's a little coupon for you if you want to enroll in my art journaling class on iHeart Studio. So I'm sending you all my love. And until next time, bye.